Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for having us, Rach. Really appreciate awesome. it, Rach. Thank you. Well, was there a moment when you guys were putting together the documentary and a piece of film you were looking at, it just made you stop short and say, oh my God, this is riveting? So many, so many. It's one of those stories where it's like, you think you know it, but to go back and relive and see what a crazy time it was, you know, Chris and the team, they were put in such a unique position where although they hadn't done anything wrong, it was global news that something awful had happened with their franchise. And everybody looked at them like, OK, what are y'all going to do? What are you going to do to fix it? And we go behind the scenes of all of that. It, it gets it gets deep. And Chris, the documentary covers how you guys really were prepared to boycott, to walk off the court of a playoff game just after tip-off, which I'm not sure people really realize what you would have been risking if you had done that. You would have been upsetting the apple cart of a billion-dollar television deal, risking alienating fans, worldwide scrutiny. As the leader of that Clippers locker room, how did you decide that you were willing to make that hard choice if it came to it? Man, it was, it was bigger than that. It was bigger than you know, uh, basketball. It was more about life, race relations, and and how, you know, people respond. It was just, it was nonstop phone calls, you know, from not only just your family members and friends, but from uh, political leaders, you know, and we cover all that different type of stuff in the doc. And as, as a basketball player, guys on the team, you're trying to concentrate on a game, playing against the Warriors, you know, which was a heated series and all. So it was a lot going on at the time. I was going to say, Chris made me think about a moment in the doc where he talks about all these eyes were on him and he's getting all these calls. But Chris, you talked about your kids. You talked about the fact that you had to say something, make a stand, make it known that this was not okay because you had your kids' eyes on you. So you were saying that if I don't do the right thing, they will think this is okay. They will think that this is how you respond to adversity. Absolutely. And I think back, it was 2014, right? And I think about Chris, he was born in 2009, so he was younger, but now he has an opportunity to watch the doc, right? And he asked all these questions. So yeah, it was, like I said, it was bigger than the game. It was, you know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.